Okay, this is a uh, 2008 Dodge Charger. Uh, doing spark plugs on it, so I'm going to show you how to put the spark plugs since I mean, I've already done this side. So the main part, which I'm assuming people have problems, is learning how to get the intake off. Um, I've already got everything sucking apart, so it's not really the most selfish way to do. So what you want to do for this side is reach over here, take this off. There's two nuts usually, there's one right here, one right here, and take this off, so to the side. Okay. Then you got access to all three coils. This little hole, you don't have to disconnect it at all. Leave it connected. Um, hold on, I like this switch. So you got three coils, one, two, three, um, which the spark plugs is on anything. So then uh, you shoot a branch extension with the rubber piece. Careful, the rubber piece doesn't slide and mess up from time, get your extension. And you should be able to, you know, get into each one like that and take the plugs out. The plugs have to be gapped at 0 .050. So if you look at this, See the point zero five zero right there. That's what it wants to be got that for the two seven. Okay, that's what that's uh, it's pretty much self explanatory to put it back together. Also be careful of these vacuum hoses that you see. Well, somebody tried to rig it up, but these do break and I'm assuming that they broke it before, so yeah. Um this side uh, now um it's a little complicated. Not complicated, it's a little lot more it's not easier this side. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts, okay? You have to unplug the intake air sensor, or whatever you want to call it, map sensor, map, MA sensor, whatever you want to call it. Now, me necessarily, I don't like to disconnect these. I have the battery disconnected and everything. I don't like to disconnect these. So, I just left, I'm just going to remove all four bolts. So there's one, two, three, four, and leave this connected and set it to the side. Don't need to disconnect it really besides taking the four bolts out now this you have this holes right here goes into this one I'm sorry goes into this right here disconnect this holes you have a little holes right here disconnect this this you do not want to break you can get this out once you take this loose so what i mean is oh also the transmission uh stick or whatever you want to call it push it out that way you just gotta push it out that little holder like that now this you should be able to be able to lift up you can be able to pull this back a little bit and, we'll, and it should be able to swing out the way i'm gonna show you all i did okay see it's in there you should be able to, to just move the intake a little bit once you got the intake in you should be able to just you know you gotta wiggle a little bit let it be loose, and you should be able to just, just fall right out. You should not have to force it bend in or anything. And once you have that all loose, um, one second, I will be back. Uh, what you do is take this out right here. hard to do this on the camera. Okay. I like to put them up there. Worry about that noise. See how I set it to the side? This you can set it to the side. And once you got all that loose, you should be able to hold it tight, guys. you have access to these three coils. See what I'm saying? That's all. You have to wiggle a little bit. You got to swing it out this way a little bit. Just swing it out this way. Because it's going to get stuck on this right here. So you kind of like want to, don't force it, but like kind of like maneuver it and move a little bit. 
Um, but then you have access to these three coils. You don't necessarily have to unplug them because you have enough room where you can leave them plugged in, but I like to unplug them just because I don't like any broken wires or any clips like that. Um, and you can be able to take them out and you will see what's going on.